Welcome, Councillor. It's a pleasure. I had to come down on your first day, didn't I? Yes. And I've got me, I've, I went to the bank and got some money, so I'm going to spend some before I go as well. Thanks, Richard. But, but I probably won't get my hair braided or my nails done. There are some, some of the shops here and I can't do it. <laughs> I've been going around. Uh, and there's some real bargains to be had yeah. out there. There's some great food. There's a pie shop. I'll be back for the pie shop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all sorts of products here. Good prices. But you know what's most important to me? The lovely feel of this place people talking to each other, uh, obviously some old favourites coming back, delighted to be back because they, this is their second home for some of these people and I don't mean the traders, so this is an important place and after 813 years I'm glad to see it over again. Richard, just a personal thing, obviously from me and the traders, we'd like to obviously thank you and thank Chris, uh, Chris Brown, Councillor Brown and to be honest he, he, he's, he's a bright spark. Uh, he's great to have on board. Yeah. As a personal talk to him the other day at the protest, and he, he is a bit of a diamond, Chris. Yeah. Uh, traders want to thank you, and the members of the public want to thank you. Not only on helping us to open back the market, but to actually start the negotiations with the Liverpool Council, which is important. It is. So we've, we've got to find a way of working the council and the traders. But this is part of a, a much bigger thing for Chris and I. So we've been doing things in Walton, in yeah. Road. I've seen it on social media, it's good. Keeping yeah. small businesses going. Yeah. People like you make your profits here, we hope, yeah. and you spend your money here. Yeah. You go to some of the big companies exactly. Exactly. and their money goes to tax havens and it's lost to the city. So wherever you go, exactly. I hope people will come to St John's Market, but wherever you're going shopping, look first for Liverpool businesses run by Liverpool people who employ Liverpool people who keep their cash in our city. Thank you, Richard.